So I recently posted a video showing how Japanese Omron, the 01F switches don't always fit in a mouse design for Chinese Omrons and it's because the plunger height is too high. When I posted the video showing what happens when you put the 01F in a mouse that doesn't have the clearance for it, Xamon4 on Twitter replied that you can swap the plunger for another Omron plunger and it will work. So I saw that, so it sounded like a great tip and I wanted to show you how to do it yourself. I haven't put these switches into a mouse yet, but Kevin Z did it, put it into a Model O and says it works fine. So if you give this a shot, let me know how it works for you. So here I've got donor switches. It's everyone's favorite double clicking Omron 50Ms. And I'm just gonna pull the plunger out and I'm doing that by unclipping the front and back. You don't really need to be precious with this because you're gonna throw the switch away, but I would use this as practice for the other switch, which if you mess up, you just ruined expensive Japanese Omrons. I'm using a razor blade here. You use a very fine tweezer. You're trying to get the clip that's on the lip of the housing just over it. What worked the best for me was using the corner of the razor blade to just pull that pull that clipped piece down and then the switch just comes apart. So this is just showing you what the different plunger heights look like on the 01F versus the uh, Omron 20M. So opening the 01F is a little bit different. It's the clip on the side. I definitely would recommend not using a sharp razor blade and to use a pair of tweezers that have like a really small tip on them. I use the tweezers for the second clip and it's definitely easier and definitely way safer. Whatever you do, you just need to be gentle and do whatever you can to essentially bend the lip as little as possible while still getting the switch unclipped. So then I just use the tweezers, pop the plunger into the housing, pay attention to which is the front and which is the back of the switch. The back of the switch is the part with everything going on. So the plunger goes on the side with not much going on. Press it in together evenly and there you go. There's a comparison with the swapped one and the stock one. Rinse, repeat for the other side. Pop it into your mouse like normal and you should be good. Give this a shot, let me know how it works. Hopefully this method will get these Japanese Amarons into basically any mouse. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please sub, like, etc. Peace.